you've taken your Conair clipper apart to clean it out and now you're wondering how it goes back together so you've turned to YouTube for help. If your collection of bits looks like this then you're in the right place. This is how it reassembles and I didn't think it was easy. Make sure you have the blades the right way up. This is how they slide together. And note how this slider part goes over the actuator. When you come to fit it together, it has to slot inside. So, remembering which was the outside of the moving blade, the slider part has to fit to it. But wait, there's a pad that goes in between with a reserve of oil. This one has plenty, but you can add drops of clipper oil at this point if you wish. I tried to place the oil pad on the blade first, but it was too fiddly and I decided to do it the other way around. You can see why that works better. So, to double check, this is how the blade slides. This spring part pokes into these two holes and will eventually keep the blades pressed together. But, and this is what I found confusing, if you fit the spring the obvious way, the ends point down, not up, so it's clearly wrong. So, how does that spring fit? If you point the ends in the right direction, the centre part of the spring doesn't seem to be anything like near the tab where it's clearly supposed to fit. The answer is that the spring is under half a turn of twist when fitted, so it's quite a squeeze to press it into place, and it's tricky even to get started. There are two slots down the side of the tab to help you and you start by pressing the spring ends into them. Note that the centre of the spring is at least close to the tab now. It's still not easy. If you push the spring centre into the tab with your fingernail, it just pops out again. Now, before you start this next part, make sure that the main blade, your screwdriver and the screws are within reach because you're going to need them before you're done. Making sure that the spring centre doesn't slip out of that tab, fit the slider on it. then folding it into place. Now, keeping the pressure on, squeeze the main blade on top of the sliding blade and jiggle it until it goes over the short screw pillars. Now, this is why you need the screws within reach. Carefully screw the blade down before it pops apart again. And just to prove that it's working properly, here's a slow-mo of the clipper in action. <laughs> 